with the Silver Bowl Volunteer Fire Department Association, and we're sanctioned by the city. They help me. Like when I need trouble putting a sign up or taking it down, I can call one or two and they'll come and help me. We put the flags up at the cemetery, they help. We, we take them down, we put holes in to hold the flags now so we can find them. We stood alone for years. The worst part was when they had a cannery fire, they would call us because we had so many men. I, like I say, I was in charge of volunteers. I had 35 men and we knew what we were doing. We helped with the feats of lanterns. All kinds of stuff. Yes, I helped with the pool. They were having trouble. We got the money in the bank, so I decided to use some of that. So, and the kids were all for it because it's their inheritance, you know. So, so they said, "Do it, do it. We want you to do it." So we did it. They tore up some of the pipes and they filled up the sand. So it was you couldn't fix it then. Mm -hmm. They had to tear it out. That's when they decided to try and build a whole new one. And quite a few people had given a thousand, and I had given them a thousand. And then they came out with this hundred thousand, you could put your name on it. And to be truthful, my kids called me because I didn't know, I don't do computers. So I didn't know anything about it. And they saw it in there. And they said, well, what about you doing that? And I said, well, I can, but remember, uh, I'm 83. I'm going to be giving away your inheritance. Oh, Daddy, we don't want it. We don't want it. There's plenty. So uh, I said, well, all right, I'll put my name on it. We got my boys' names on the basketball court, so uh, we'll do it. And we kept it quiet. It was anonymous that I would match the other money. And we raised another, oh, I think 40, 50,000 by doing that. See, they say, oh, yeah. But in time, you'd be surprised in this small town, everyone was talking to me about it. And I said, well, okay. We went to the dinner at Spanish Bay, and Mo broke it open then, and we picked up another. 12 or 14,000, like an auction. The people started standing up and said, I'll give you uh, 2,000 or 4,000 or 1,000, 500, 100. And we picked up about 15,000, I think. And uh, everybody gets in and helps. The fire department helps. People send in money to help pay for it. I built a basketball court for them for the kids. My kids grew up in that park and you, you went to middle school, that was our high school years ago. My wife went there, that's where I met her. It's been 62 years we've been married. She's in the house, same girl, so uh, it was great. Later they built the high school where it is now. And we did a lot of, again, the, the fire department and so forth worked up there and did a lot of work on putting in bleachers, fencing, all that, which now they have all new. But the volunteers were up there. We built the snack bar, the old snack bar, and the bathrooms out there. They didn't have any. They had porter potties. The volunteers all came up. We'd go up Saturday. The wives would bring lunch. We'd work all day. And we had the announcer's booth up there. We built that. The storage buildings we built, it took us about three years to do that, to build it. Because during football, you get a lot of help. And then after that's over, it's kind of slowed down. We kept Howard Cowan. In fact, I got him to put his name. There's another one. To put his name on the stadium. And it is now technically called Howard Cowan Breaker Stadium which was good, because he, he worked his tail off. So, I do the, what we call the snow in the park, and we have like a, a ride, hay ride, uh, horse ride, and then uh, uh, 
all the rides that they have for the merry-go-round, this, this, and that. I've been lucky. I've had businesses. I got a couple of buildings. I, I started a hardware store. I used to own M&S Building Supply. I'm the yes. And I sold that in 70. Then I bought the service station garage, started the hardware store, and I got rooms upstairs, businesses, which let me go out. I like to build contractors. And uh, I built another building for my sister. We had to sell it, so I sold it to myself. So that one's ours now. We've got both buildings. And we get a good income coming from that. They're all, well, almost all of them. We've got a couple of rooms that we, but we still have a good income coming in. Everything's paid for. So, I gave it away. I built some houses for free. It's payback. I think people should give back. You know, when I was a little kid, uh, we didn't have the school buses. So the parents took us to San Francisco to play in the playoff. We went to well, the golf course over on, uh, up towards Felton up in there somewhere. I remember we rode on the bus because the kids were doing real good. We were, I didn't play golf, but I was kind of like cheerleader going along. Uh, it was dad doing all that. They had station wagons and cars. Today you can't ride in it now because they'll sue you. But that's the only way we could get anywhere. We went to King City that way. It wasn't easy. My mother was alone, but she she helped build new schools and this and that. She helped pay for those parking lots uptown because that was the thing to do. You know, I don't know, three dollars a month was her share or something for 25 years, and that was a big three dollars probably. So. But not now, although we have passed a couple of school, school bonds and they're trying to get another one, which I signed for. So we do have a good school system. It's kind of fun. I, you know, I'll, I'll do some work for an hour and my back gets stiff or my neck. I go sit down and uh, I might even go to sleep. I, you'd be surprised how much I sleep out here. Take a 15 minute nap or the phone rings. So, but, and the posts out there, I've been painting some of the posts because they, they leave it natural and the wind is just tearing them up, heating it, cracking them and so forth. It'd be like you standing out there in the sun with no shirt on. Pretty soon you're gonna burn up. That's all there is to it. But I love it here. I'm going to die right here. Maybe not in the house, but I'm going to die in the road. Yeah.